here. Today I'll be teaching you how to make an origami weightlifter, which is super, not hard, but has a lot of shape in, and it will be a bit tricky for beginners, so I would not recommend it if you're a beginner. You will need a 32 by 32 grid, and we will need um, the diagonals in half decreased, and that's really it to prepare. So, start making the mountain bolt along this line, along the line that's closest to you. And then do the two side lines that connect to that one. I'm going to make the first layer of our poop sink, our three-way poop, three-side poop, poop sink, as I like to call it. Now I'm going to do that three times more. Hmm. This is a pretty simple model for a box fleet, but um, as you know, um, my, my uh, definition of simple may be different than yours. So I would do, like to take my recommendation of level with a grain of salt. Just think of it your own way, whatever you want to do. But I would absolutely very like I would very strongly not recommend this for beginners. It has quite a few things that um not everyone in the beginning work on even do. Let me move my chair so it's easier to stand. Okay, so now once we do that we have two bumps mountain folds. Not bumps. One of you two more, so one. By the way, I'll be using blue single tissue. 10 inch. Why blue? I don't know. Just the easiest color for me. Made some single tissue last night and I thought I'd use it for this. Anyways, almost done. Oh, you need a quite thin but also strong paper for this. But I made this for a set of printer paper. Although, um, um, although when I did that, it ripped qu quite quickly. So, during the collapsing and shaping, so that went wrong. <laughs> LOL. But, um, yeah. Oh, I meant to say, I want to give a shout out to Sliced Bread. Thank you for giving me a good com a good comment on my channel. It's been since April since I got a comment like that. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Uh, anyways, back to the tutorial. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to finish this up. Hmm, one sec. <clears throat> Sorry for going out of camera a bit. Just 
helps me make them on both easier. And if I put it in the camera, that I risk me get, get accidentally revealing my face. Of course, I'm going to easily retake the video, but still. You get the point. I don't want to take any risks. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we have these two long flaps. Now what we're going to do, you're going to count um, one, two, wait, from the, from where the police sink ends, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then now unfold along that crease or grid line, you know what I mean, oh, and open it up to create that crease. And repeat on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's that six. That six, right? Yeah. Cool. And then we are going to do the rest of the clock, which is pretty simple actually. I think. It might be different for you, like I said. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this flap up and do the rest of the pleat sink along these six lines. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, we're going to start by um, making, we're basically going to um, make some pleats. So what we're going to do is for the, for the six pack of the, of the weight lifter, I meant to tell you, I purposely didn't show you one in the beginning because I want you to watch till the end to figure out what it looks like. <clears throat> now, we're going to finish it up with some more pleats. Yeah, you guessed it. And the final few steps, besides shaping it, of course, is to make the leg collapse. Which may seem hard, but actually isn't that bad. <clears throat> really all we have to do is another pleat sink, or box pleat, or whatever you want to call it. You know me, I don't really know these things' names that well.
So we have a bit more to do before we have the full base collapsed, actually. I'm sorry. Forgot a few steps. Basically gonna make this, um, this, um, these arms, basically gonna pull the arms apart and make this rabbit ear for the face. And then we're gonna squash that rabbit ear. Like this. You can shape the face however you want. I prefer to just keep it the way it is, honestly. Now we're almost done. Thank goodness. We are actually now going to create the pecs or the pectorals or whatever you want to call them. They're the big muscles right over here. Somewhat around there. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, another pleat. Yeah, you guessed it. Another pleat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make that pleat into another flap, but like that. Kind of like my dragon skills tessellation. And we're gonna repeat on this side. And now all we have to do is just shake those packs. And our base is collapsed, which looks like this, if you want a close view. It has the six pack, the abs, sorry, the abs slash six pack. It has the um, pectorals, arms, legs, and face. By the way, I noticed that over 90% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you, I don't really mind if you don't subscribe. I just would prefer if you want to support my channel, feel free to subscribe if you want to. And you can always change your mind. If you want to, it's free. Anywho, let's do this. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start working on shaping, or the final steps, or whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna start with the arm, and we're gonna spread squash <coughs> every single one of these, um, of these little triangle thingies that we created in the box plate. and remake it like this. Then what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we are gonna take this muscle and push up here. And we have the first muscle, which we're, and we're gonna repeat on the other side, so squash, squash, squ slash, spread squash, oops, wrong way, and maybe, and we create the muscle, the biceps, Now, if you want me to design a better model, feel free to tell me in the comments, but basically um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna create the weights now, which are pretty simple, but interesting. So this is a step I kinda made up, kinda didn't, that I used in my dragon, um, that I used my dragon head for my skill dragon part one. So you're gonna open it up and push back together, creating two new flaps which are gonna be the weights. <clears throat> the weight, I mean, on each hand. So, what we're gonna do, let me zoom in a bit more, is we are going to push, we're basically gonna create this as the hand wrapping around the weights, and we're gonna tuck that in here. Then we're gonna push really hard in the middle, 
and push hard on the outside, you gain this cool eight-like shape, figure eight-like shape. Might look a bit like a motorcycle, but this is our first weight. If you want, you can shape it a bit more, but I prefer to just keep it this way. And I like to make sure, I like to have them do bicep curls, which is just bending the elbow a bit. Again, make sure there's no rips, no rips so far, perfect. Now, we're gonna um, repeat on the other arm. this way down unless he's doing alternating bicep curls. Now the face is pretty simple to shape. All you have to do is actually you don't have to shape it at all. You just kind of tuck this flap inside this one flap inside the other, and it's done. Now the final step is shaping the legs, which actually is pretty simple. All we have to do is we have to take this, the first, we basically don't have to squash it at all. We take the first um triangle thingy and push it out. And you repeat on the other side. And then we make the feet. Which you make it however you want. I'm going to make it so that there's a bit of a heel. look cool. And we're gonna just shape that. We've had a bit water. <laughs> LOL. I know I say it too much, but I ain't gonna stop because I find things pretty funny and I can't really control that. Anyways. I'm just gonna push this all down together. Maybe we them both worked. And we're on the weight lifter. Done. Congrats if you made it this far. And that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.